Forest Dunes Golf Club is known for its immaculate conditioning and fast greens. These attributes are the result of great attention to detail paid by golf course superintendent Jim Block and his staff during a maintenance process called aerification. Performed in the late summer or early fall each year, aerification involves pulling cores from the earth. It serves three main purposes. First, to remove thatch or dead material such as dead stems and leaves. Too much of these will lead to disease and insects. Second, it creates air space in the soil which provides oxygen to the roots for healthy growth. Finally, it eliminates compression, which is the compacting of the soil to the point where it crushes the roots. In order to avoid soil contamination on our bent grass, the process at Forest Dunes is a meticulous one. It took three and a half scheduled days this past week, and during that time the course was closed in order for the hardworking maintenance crew to have full reign over the grounds. The first step involved punching holes in the greens, tee boxes, and fairways. A 3 8 inch tine is used on the greens, a 5 8 inch tine for the tees, and a 3 quarter inch tine for the fairways. All of the plugs are left to dry for several hours before the process of removing them begins. It is a lot of physical labor to remove the plugs from the tees and greens. The plugs are pushed along the ground with a shovel and then loaded into a work cart for transportation to a recycling area on property. On the fairways, the plugs are dragged to help break them up before they are blown into rows so that they can be collected with a large sweeper vacuum. Next, the holes that were punched in the greens and tees are blown open with backpack blowers. This allows the entire hole to be clear so that sand can be brought in and spread on the greens, a process known as top dressing. After the sand dries for a few hours, it is dragged or brushed into the greens. Block will drag the green in five different directions to help ensure that the holes are filled entirely with sand. A whopping 45 tons of sand is used to fill these holes on the greens. The excess sand is blown away and then the greens are rolled before play resumes. Once the plugs are cleared from the tees and the fairways, these holes are left to fill naturally on their own. When you crunch the numbers, you begin to see how cumbersome this process is. There are 35 acres of fairway to punch at a speed of an acre an hour, and the greens take 20 to 40 minutes each to aerate with a walk-along corer. The crew has to hand clear plugs from 20 greens covering 174,000 square feet and then an additional 91 tee boxes. It takes the entire crew around 40 minutes to shovel plugs away on each hole and then another 20 minutes to clear it with the blowers. And that doesn't include the hours it takes for the plugs and sand to dry. This year, the entire aerification process took the Forest Dune staff around 450 man hours of labor to complete. The rate at which the turf heals from this process depends greatly on the weather and what time of year the process is completed. While golfers may not like aerification because it closes your favorite course for a few days or results in less than pristine conditions during the healing process, golfers must realize that this preventative maintenance is a necessity if they want to enjoy a lush course and true greens.